Hi guys, welcome to Selling Your Products. In this introduction lecture, we're going to be covering a few slides on uh, what you should be doing right now and um, a couple of other slides on uh, mitigating any problems that might have in, uh, happened once you've got your delivery. I remember when I got my first delivery of products and all of a sudden my house seemed very small. There were boxes everywhere and to say I was overwhelmed would have been an understatement. I was freaking out, man, really. There was boxes everywhere. I had not prepared anything. I had uh, a nightmare just moving from room to room. I'd spent a load of money. Um, I was opening boxes to figure out what I'd actually bought and what they'd actually sent me. Um, my friends came around to help me and they kind of just laughed at me, then walked away and then pointed and laughed at me a bit more. Um, I was only freaking out for a while though. I got organized. I kind of done everything the wrong way that I've been telling you to do in this this um, this course. So yeah, but uh, you live and learn and uh, that's why I'm teaching you guys the right way to go about doing this. But yeah, it's all fun and you all learn. Okay, when your delivery arrives, take it all out of the boxes and check all of it. Make sure it is all intact, the right color, size, anything else that might be relevant. Also count all of it and make sure the supplier hasn't sold you short. Doesn't happen often, but sometimes they do. Sometimes there's bits missing. Maybe the, the shipment was sent in two, um, two separate bits. Um, I'm not sure what you call that, but it could have come in two bits. So there might still be some more still to come. If it's all looking good, then awesome. Looks like you might have a good supplier. And if you've done your research and everything right, then you've got a good product too. Things are going well. If it's not, then assess the situation and see what can be done to make good. Getting your money back is very unlikely, but you need to check that with the supplier. If you think, oh, this is just complete tat, I'm never gonna do anything with this, you know, you might be able to get your money back. Um, there are options we're gonna go through right now, so keep, keep glued to this screen. <laughs> If the product is still sellable, then you must keep moving forward. If, if it's not what you wanted, there's gonna be disappointment, but check the products and think, can I sell this? Can this be done? Can I work this? Okay, I ordered black and I've got bright pink. Now you've got a ladies option, okay? <laughs> Get creative with it and uh, make the best of a bad situation there, guys. My suggestion would be to notify the supplier that the order was wrong and that you are not happy with the situation. Then play it by ear. I would probably try to sell what I had and then use the mistake as leverage to get a discount from them the next time or get them to cover delivery charges in the next order. This kind of stuff does happen and unfortunately there is not much that can be done other than move forward, get the product to market ASAP and try to make the best of it. There is another option if you've used the trade assurance which we're going into now. If your factory is under Alibaba's trade assurance agreement then it will be a lot easier to get your money back. It's advisable still to communicate with the factory first and see what can be done as you are building a relationship with these guys. So if there was a mistake and has been and it has been and it can be resolved, then you, that should be your first option. Um, like I say, people make mistakes. Factories have orders going out all over the time. There might have been confusion. Um, there might have been a mistake. There might be a, a misinterpretation in language. It could have been a lot of different things, okay? Don't get out the, um, the ax just yet and start chopping up, chopping up what you've already built, okay? Go back to your factory, see what they're saying. I'd advise, I'd advise you to give them a chance before demanding money back or anything like that. See if you can build this relationship, but also make sure to use it as leverage. The next order, I would expect discount or free delivery or definitely something like that. Those guys screwed up and they should make good on that. Anyway, those are all bad things. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that you guys have got what you ordered. You followed all the instructions I gave you. All the boxes are unpacked. You prepared before the order arrived and you are looking good and ready to sell. Excellent. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.